want to share a few things with you. Uh, sorry if I don't sound the same right now. But I wanted to share with you that if, if you don't feel loved, man, I just want to tell you how much that I love you. And how much, man, this, this, people are so broken in this world. We all have brokenness. We all have struggles, man. You're, you're probably not alone in whatever you're struggling with. However deep or dark it may feel or may be, you're not alone. A lot of people feel alone, but you're not alone. Uh, but I also want to tell you how much God says that, uh, in John three sixteen, he says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You know, God's desire for you and for anyone who hears my voice uh, wishes none would perish, but all would come to repentance to believe what Jesus has done, how much compassion Jesus had on the broken and the broken. He even says that God is near the brokenhearted. How much compassion and mercy that God had. Even Judas, knowing that Judas would betray him, still probably showed immense love to Judas. You know, and this is the thing. God loves us, and he desires all men to repent and turn to him and believe the gospel. So if you're feeling broken, if you're feeling like you're you're unloved, realize that God gave up his life to save you, to, to forgive you of your sins. Yes, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And, and that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, all of us. And that includes you and me. And But God came to, to die. Uh, he was a he was born of a virgin, fully God, fully man. And yet he died on that cross to save you from your sins, to bring you back. Why? He doesn't. He didn't need me. He didn't need you. He didn't. He doesn't need us. But he loved us, and he 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 is such a loving God. He was the one who created love, real love. He is the God of love. Now, does it mean he's also a God of justice and God of righteousness? And, and there's a day of judgment coming when he'll judge the world. And that's why he tells you to come today. Today is the day of salvation. Don't let it be too late. Come today and believe on Jesus. But if you know if you need anything, realize that your, your brokenness, whatever you're going through, there's probably another hundred thousand, thousands of people who, who are going through something similar or if not about the same thing. You've experienced loss. There's a lot of people who's experienced loss. If you're going through depression, there's a lot of people who struggle with depression, me included. You know, if you're going through addictions to things, it doesn't matter from cigarettes to drugs to alcohol, no matter what it is, there's somebody out there who is struggling with the same thing. You're not alone in your addictions. You're not alone in your struggles. So many times we treat them as taboos and we like, almost in a way, we, we act like we're alone and we're not. But more importantly, Jesus knows how to set you free. Jesus knows how to deal with your pains and your addictions. He's, he was attempted with all things. He knows what it's like to be tempted. He knows how to, how to help us in our weaknesses. He was flesh just like we were flesh, except he was sinless and spotless. He didn't fail where we failed. He wasn't a sinner like we are sinners. But yet God said, he, the Bible says he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that we might become the righteousness of God in through Jesus or through Him. So you got to understand that Jesus can save you. He can bring you out of it. He can He can lift you up. And so I'd encourage you to read the Bible. I'd encourage you to, to get along with Him and call upon the name of Jesus, to believe what He has done for you, how He loves you and He died for you and was buried and rose again from the dead to save us from our sins. It was not God's will to crush us and destroy us, but it was God's will that we would turn to Him and live. It is God's will that we would be reconciled they said, you know, the, the, some, uh, I think it was Paul, and I could be wrong, but I believe it was Paul who says, you know, we implore you, or we, you know, I, I'm going to say it in my own words, look, we, we, we're going to beg you, come and be reconciled to God. Come and be reconciled to God. Jesus died for you. He is the only way of salvation. I've got other videos on that. But just know that you're not alone in your struggles. You struggle with anything, pretty much anything. There's nothing new under the sun. If, if I've struggled with it, you probably struggle with it. You've got an addiction to something. You've got fear. You've got doubts. You've got some unbelief. Welcome to the crowd. You know, there's a man in, 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 the, in, the, in the Bible who says, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. We all struggle. We all fall down. But, man, God loved us so much that he came to save us. And it doesn't mean he came to let us be who we want to be and do all this stuff. No, he came to set us right. He came to show us and turn us from our sins and or come to save us from our sins and to turn us from the, the world and the sins of the world to himself and or to turn him to, from darkness to light let me put it that way instead of the other way he came to put us from darkness to light so believe in the lord jesus today and be saved but i love you and if you need anything i'm always here you can text me you can call me 
I don't care if you're going through the worst addiction of your life, if you're going through the worst thing of your life. Man, I'm telling you, I've seen enough brokenness in myself and in the world to know that we're all broken people. But I am looking to a perfect Savior who did die for me, who did, it has, is constantly coming after me when I don't deserve it and with me even when I don't deserve it because it is to His glory. He takes the brokenness of people and saves them. Believe in the Lord Jesus and be saved.